Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Every Box Matters, where I want to share with you things about Operation Christmas Child and things I like to shop for and put in the box and encourage you to pack a shoebox and bless a child with the love of Jesus as it goes around the world and shares the gospel. So I went shopping the other day. I went to a local, well not very local, it's about an hour away. It's an inventory kind of clearance place it's in a small town and so I don't go over there very often, but when I go, I do get a good bit. So the first thing I want to show you is the free stuff. This was free. They had at the checkout counter, they had calendars from 2023. And so I just picked up a few of them, a bundle of them, because they have great pictures on the back. And I have seen other people do their shoe boxes and put like a picture on the inside slap, which I probably won't do that. But I think I might um, take these out and, you know, maybe put a different uh, paper on the back of it or something to make it like a picture poster and laminate them. I don't know, but I just got a bunch of them um, That one's puppies animals puppies. This one's basketball Michael Jordan This is Winnie the Pooh and then these are scenery ones different seasons and pretty landscape pictures That one's pretty landscape pictures and this is as well So just something that you can do for free if you want to bless a shoebox by putting in pictures and stuff like that So if I do this as a project during the year, I'll show you what it looks like Okay, the next thing I want to share with you are some girls' panties. They had, in their clothing section and stuff, they had girls' panties that were individually. They weren't in the packages. These are all Fruit of the Loom or Hanes. So this is the stack I have for the 10 to 14-year-old girls, and this is for the uh, 5 to 9-year-old girls. And these are all 50 cents a piece individually. And I thought that was a pretty good deal, and I looked back at Walmart when I got home, and if you bought a pack of Fruit of the Loom, and averaged it out, it'd be a dollar fifty a piece. And if you found some Hanes ones, they were like eighty nine cents a piece when you averaged it out. So I thought that was a good deal, and um, so I grabbed a bunch of those. And the next thing I got were socks. These cute little socks were um, fifty cents a pair. These are like back to school socks, so they have a little bit of not really anything school related on them. There were some that were more schoolish, but I didn't get those. So some neat girl socks with some like chevron design, and these are like flowery looking fun those are 50 cents a pair and they also had valentine socks these are some valentine socks different sizes um but here you go valentine's like x's and o's kind of things with the hearts making the the o's and then these are cute with some little design so these are all 50 cents a pair and when i tried to compare that to something like on walmart wonder nation brand because that's usually the most affordable they would have been 60 cents a pair so for 50 cents a pair, I thought that was a pretty good deal. The next thing I want to show you are the, um, for some hygiene kits, I got nail clippers. These were individually 75 cents a piece. And at Walmart, when I looked them up, they're $1.64 a piece. I have seen clippers before at other thrift stores for cheaper, but you know, 75 cents a piece is still not bad. And so I wanted to grab what I could. So I grabbed a, a handful of those, what they had. They actually had tons of toenail clippers, but I didn't really think those would be as useful as the fingernail clippers. And then I also saw some fingernail clippers with the um, files in them. This is like, there's two in there, you can't really tell, but there's two of those. And I will open this up and separate it and put one file in a hygiene kit and another one in another one. So it's a, like a more durable type file. So these were only a dollar a piece. And when I looked them up on Walmart, they would be a dollar thirty-three. So I saved a little bit of money. And um, like I said, it may not have been the cheapest you could find something like that. But when I see something that's right there in front of me and available, I like to go ahead and get it if I think it's at a good price. So I bought what those were. All right, the next thing are some school supplies. Um, some pens I found. They had big pens, a 10 pack for 50 cents. A whole bunch of these. So I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of them. These were um, 50 cents a piece, like I said. And when you look them up at Walmart, they're $1.57 a pack. So I bought a whole bunch of those. I'll just put a few of them up here that I got for school supplies. The next thing in school supplies are Tisconderoga pencils. These are $2.50 a pack at the store I was at, and if you compare it to Walmart prices, they are normally $6.42, because this is an excellent brand. These are super duper, and there's 18 in a pack, and they were $2.50. I've gotten some, and I showed you before on another video, and so just each time I go, I'm just gonna look and get a few, you know, as long as they're there. <laughs> And then chalk, they had chalk there. They had had chalk last year and I got a bunch and um, they were starting to run out. So I don't know if they'll get more, you know, it's just a 
whatever they have on hand. These are 50 cents a pack. Um, there's the brand is 12 of them in a pack. And chalk, when I looked up different prices of chalk, you can find chalk from 42 cents to $1.40 a pack. But if you look up this actual one right now at Walmart, it's $5 and I have no idea why. But anyhow, 50 cents a pack was a good deal, I thought. So, and chalk is not as easy to find in the store all the time. So I got those for my two to four year old boxes. Like I said, that's always something good for two to four year old boxes is chalk. And then um, I'm gonna work on getting chalk boards to go with them this time so they can use those for school. All right, the next thing related to school is paper. They had packs of paper there for 33 cents a pack. This pack of paper actually is sold at Target for 99 cents a pack. And at Walmart, the Pen and Gear brand is 84 cents a pack right now. Now back to school prices might be cheaper. I usually don't buy loose leaf paper so much, but I went ahead and got some of this because like I said, it was there and it was only 33 cents a pack. Um, and what I'm planning on doing with this is taking it and folding it in half and putting them in like pencil packs in a Ziploc bag and um, just making sure there's some paper in there. Or you could just take it and put it in the bottom of a shoe box, you know, but I wanted to have something in there. Another thing I found were some, some tote bags. These are uh, canvas type. There is a pocket on this one and it's just a big open bag, but it was only a dollar. So for a dollar, I thought that's pretty decent. That's good. Oh, and there's a side pocket on this one too. And then that's a sturdy bag. The backpacks I usually get are from Dollar Tree. Um, and that's $1.25, and I know it's got zippers and stuff, but I just went ahead and bought a few of these for a dollar. Thought those would be good. And then I had another type of tote bag. I mean, the same style, kind of. Um, just a big tote bag, but it's thicker, more insulated, and it's pink on the inside. Thought that'd be pretty for a girl. There's no extra pockets, of course, but, I mean, not of course, but anyway, it's only a dollar, so I got several of those as well like um, four or five. And those will fold up nicely. Like if you get a big bag like this, you can just fold it up. Cause I've gotten bags like this from um, Dollar General too that are thinner ones that they have all the time. And you can make it into a nice square and put that at the bottom of a shoe box and that will be great. And it fits. So yes. So think about what you can get and what you can put in the box. Now my favorite thing that I got, the last thing I wanna show, are the stuffed animals. They have a room there at this, uh, this store I go to is like divided up into different sections. Stuffed animals is one of the little rooms. And these are all Valentine ones. But what I'm going to do is take this off with a seam ripper. And um, and then they'll have a separate plushie that I can put as filler items for boxes that need more. Or I could give it two. But it, that way it'll be a stuffed animal with the animal theme. And then the little heart will be extra. These are all, like I said, I don't know if I said $2. When I looked them up online to try to find comparable... They're usually about 10 or 15. This is a brand called Animal Adventures. But since it's Valentine stuff, they were probably clearing out the store and getting rid of them. And so they end up going to um, the place I go to, which is, you know, inventory, overstock stuff. So tigers and zebras, that's mostly what I got. Oh, wait, here's a bear. That's a cute one. Cute. They're very good, soft, plush. Um, this little guy, kind of a bear, sort of a lamb, something. Very cute. And, oh, that one. Kind of a monkey-ish looking. I'm really not sure what kind of animal that is. I can't tell. But he's cute and cuddly. And then a bear. So that was my favorite thing there with the stuffed animals. So keep looking. Keep shopping. Hope you enjoy shopping for Operation Christmas Child year-round. And remember, no matter, no matter how many boxes you do, whether one or a hundred, every box matters.